Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. As a lecturer and researcher, it's important to have the ability to quickly create a presentation to deliver to an audience that may include international colleagues. In this video, I'm going to show you three powerful ways you can use the AI features in PowerPoint to make your presentations, one, look like a designer created your slides, two, show you how you can deliver your presentations in another language using subtitles, and three, demonstrate how you can use an AI coach built into PowerPoint to improve your presentation skills. Okay, so let's get started. So here are my set of slides that I've created and you can see that they look pretty plain at the moment. To make them look like as if a designer has created them, all you need to do in PowerPoint is, is click on the home button and then go to the designer tab, which is on the right hand of this pane. And as soon as you do that, you can see that the AI engine starts to read the content of the slide and makes some suggestions in terms of a style. And I quite actually like this one. So I'm just going to tap on there and you can see immediately the slide looks a lot more engaging. I'm going to keep this one. So I'm going to go on to the second slide, which introduces the research and looks at the issues around hostile relationships in social work practice. And it makes a, a suggestion in terms of uh, a number of designs. I'm not really happy with these, so I'm going to click on this button here, which says see more design ideas. Once I click on that, what it does is it provides a number of other suggestions. I quite like this one. So I'm just going to tap that one and you can see that there's a consistency now developing between the designs. If I move on to the third slide that looks at the aims of the study, I'm going to select this one because I quite like that one and the methods used. I'm going to scroll down and you can see that this slide talks about observing service users and social workers over the period over a period of a year. So I'm going to select this slide because I quite like the idea that it connects to a calendar that illustrates one of the meanings of uh, the slide here. When I look at the finding slide, I'm going to just select this one. I quite like the, the clean look that's presented in the finding slide there. And then the discussion talks about the different findings from the, the research. And what I might do is, is actually just change the design style here a little bit and mix it up a little bit. I, I quite like the way the discussion is presented in three different colors there. And finally, if I go to the conclusion slide, this talks about some of the ideas in terms of addressing hostile relationships in social work practice and providing organizational and personal support. And so I'm just going to slide down and I quite like the way that it presents visually these ideas here. Now, if I wanted to change the icons, I can just click on those. I can right click and I can change the shape or I can change the graphic from a file, stock images or online sources. But actually, I'm just going to leave it as it is. And so immediately you can see in a matter of minutes, really, from quite a plain looking PowerPoint, I've now created something that looks like um, a designer might have created it. I'm quite happy with this, so I'm going to keep this presentation as it is. So let's move on to the next part of the video. OK, so I'm happy with the way that the presentation looks now. Let me show you another really powerful AI powered aspect of PowerPoint. I want you to imagine that you're presenting to an international audience, say in France. You could present your slides in English, but have subtitles that pop up in French. Let's see how you can do this. If you click on the slideshow text, then go over to always use subtitles. And then what you can do is, is go to subtitle settings and you could have spoken language English United Kingdom and subtitle language. You can go down and select French, German, Greek, Haitian, so on. There's a good selection that you can look at, but I'm going to leave it with French here at the moment. So what I've done is I've gone to subtitle settings, 
the spoken language is in English and the subtitle language is in French. And what I can also do is, is I can choose to put the subtitles at the bottom overlaid, top overlaid, bottom slide, or sorry, below the slide or above the slide. I'm going to choose below the slide here. Okay, so my subtitle settings are set. And what I can do is I can click on play from the start. And I can start to present my presentation. Hostile relationships in social work practice, anxiety, hate and conflict in long term work with involuntary service users. And you can see it all immediately the subtitles are beginning to appear underneath the slide. If I move on to the next slide, introduction. The problem of hostile relationships in social work practice. Again, you can see that the subtitles are appearing automatically. And I can move through my slides and I'll be aware that with just a slight delay, what I'm saying is appearing via subtitles at the bottom of the PowerPoint slides. And I think that this is a really powerful feature to make your presentations way more accessible to an international audience. I'd really encourage you to have a play with this feature because I think it is really, really powerful. OK, so we've had a look at this feature. Let's move on to the next part of the video. In this next part of the video, I'm going to show you how to use the really powerful AI coach in PowerPoint. To do this, I've moved on to the Office 365 online version because it has a few more powerful features than the desktop app. You can see that my PowerPoint slide show has been uploaded. And if I click on the slideshow text again, you'll see that I've got a rehearse with coach button. You can click the down arrow here and you can select it to give you feedback on your body language. But I'm going to choose not to do that this time. So to begin rehearsing with the coach, all you have to do is click the rehearse with coach button. So I'll do that now. And you can see that the mic is ready and that we're ready to start rehearsing. So I'm going to click this button to begin. This presentation is based around hostile relationships in social work practice, anxiety, hate and conflict in long term work with involuntary service users. You can see I'm already getting feedback. Try speaking a bit slower. In terms of a discussion, the implications of the findings are the following. There are some limitations to the study and we do offer uh, some future directions as well. And you can see that as I'm going along, I'm getting feedback from uh, the coach. The findings of this study highlight the need to address hostile relationships in social work practice and provide organisational and personal support. And you can see that it tells me to try to avoid reading from the slide itself. At the end of the presentation, you can see that I get a rehearsal report. It provides a summary. It tells me that my pace is just about right and it provides me with an average pace over time as well. And it gives me other words such as what I use in terms of filter, whether my language is repetitive, is it inclusive, what's my pronunciation like, and also my pitch as well, and the originality. And so it gives me the option to rehearse again. Now this is a really, really powerful feature because I think rehearsing your presentations is an important aspect in terms of how well they're delivered, whether that's for teaching or research. So to really get your message across, I think that this rehearsal report is really, really helpful. And that's the end of the third element of this video. I hope you found this video useful. Creating professional looking slides, being able to present to an international audience and having the ability to hone your presentation skills are important aspects of being able to share your teaching and research with a wider community. If you found this video helpful, please make sure you like it and consider subscribing to the channel. That way you can find out more ways that you can use these type of techniques to make your research, teaching and presenting life a little easier. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.